Hey, welcome to Warehouse TV. In today's... Oh, hold on a minute. I can't really see. Hey, hey, welcome to Warehouse TV. In today's episode, things might go a bit wrong. Um, so you might you might need this. Hold on, just pass it. Hold on. There you go. You got you got it on. All right, hold on. I just got to do some clearing up. Ugh. Bear with me. Yeah. Hey. All right. Welcome to Warehouse TV. Yeah, it, it's not you needs this. It's me. I'm the one in in here. <laughs> I'll put this down. Hey, welcome to Warehouse TV. What are you gonna need for today's episode? I don't know. Let's check the clipboard. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. So things needed for today. No, we're not gonna need that for this. Maybe next week. Oh there. It's your survival. You just that's all you need. You're not gonna need anything else. Right. Let's kick things off with fast and fun, get it done. Here he is. Okay, so you got your Bibles ready? Yeah? Maybe they're bookmarked. You never know. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna give you uh, a Bible reference and you have to look up and find it before my Bible stops spinning. Should you give it a go? Alrighty. Okay, so you are looking for Galatians 6, 9. Yes, my friends. Galatians 6, 9. Look it up. All right, so look in that contents page. And then, oh, New Testament. Galatians 6, 9. Yeah, come on. You got it. We're, we're, this is our, this is, we've got one more week next week, and then it's a new memory verse. So we, we've got to get this. Slippity. Okay. How you doing? Galatians 6, 9. Yeah? Sign it. Alrighty. So this is our memory verse for this month. Because we're looking into determination. Let's read it through together, okay? Let's not become tired of doing good. For at the right time, we'll gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. Now, if you look at this verse, there's a couple of things that might be a bit difficult here. Let us not become tired. And let's not give up. But you know what's amazing? That the Holy Spirit is our helper. And it says in Philippians 2.13, that God works in us both to will and to do his good pleasure. So he's right there to help you to even want to do what's right. Sometimes we don't even want to. That could be the hard thing. So the Holy Spirit's there to help you. He's with you all the time. To even help you want to do what's right. And not give up. Let's say it through one more time. Let's not become tired of doing good. For at the right time, we'll gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians. Six, nine. All right, well done. Okay, we've got one more week on that. And there's a new one for the new theme next month. All right. Okay, it's time for important notice. Maybe it's time to do a calm card. That's right. We're doing cards, aren't we? For the brilliant charity Calm, uh, looking after elderly residents. They can't get any visitors down on the marsh, says Awesome Charity Calm, a distributing uh, cars made by young people to say, look, we're thinking about you. All right. We want to cheer them up and say, look, we're thinking about you, not forgotten. We're coming through this. So why don't you do a card for them and send it to us at Life Church? Our address is in the description below. It's here too. Let's do it. Come on. Maybe it's your turn. You should do one. Okay? Go out and support them. Cheer them up. Brighten their day. All right? Awesome. Okay, it's time for a shout out some birthdays. 
Này Shout outs and birthdays Kind of linked today to be honest Because We're going to shout, shout out for Phoebe He's having a birthday this week Phoebe, happy birthday Awesome, thanks for watching And then also uh, A shout out to um, The person who's done today's Birthday eating challenge I guess who it is <laughs> Lila Thanks for the idea Lila I'm not looking forward to it Okay Well happy birthday Phoebe Thanks for watching Thanks for the suggestion, Lila. Okay, here we go. Stratospheric travel across the shed. <laughs> All right. That was birthdays. So if you've got, oh no, it been, it's not birthdays yet. <laughs> if you've got a birthday coming up, why don't you let me know? And I'll give you a shout out. And if you've got any suggestions about stuff you want me to eat for the birthday challenge, send them in. Right, we've got to celebrate this birthday. Strawberries, I love strawberries. Strawberries are great. <sighs> no. Happy birthday, Phoebe. Thanks for the suggestion, Lila. Love strawberries. Happy birthday. Oh yeah, I forgot an ingredient. I mean, they're both red, but they don't go together, right? Lila, what were you thinking? Brace yourself. No, no, come on. Oh, that is all over the place. That is just so odd. Mmm. Lila. Mmm. Oh, it's not good. It's not good at all. You should try it. Why do you try strawberries and and, and get? Ketchup. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is not is not good. Mm. I think I'm alright now. Okay. Time to give it a go, Joe. Keep going, give it a try. So what's got to happen here is you guys are just guessing about whether you think this is going to go wrong or not. Because I've got a bit of a challenge to do. I'm going to try to do some juggling and not drop the ball. So you have to figure out, mm, is he going to drop it? Is he not going to drop it? Is it going to be a win or a fail for me? Oh yeah, I didn't mention, did I? I'm going to be juggling eggs. Okay, so here they are. They're not hard boiled, all right? Okay, so this is the way juggling works, all right? This is just catching, all right? But to make it juggling, you've got to add an extra ball or egg. So here we go. I oh, really, do you know, I haven't got anything to clear it up. Should have thought of that. Am I going to drop one? Is one going to smash? Okay, here we go. It's cracked a bit. It's cracked a bit. Oh dear, I've got three to do. All right, okay. Can I juggle three? All right, without dropping them, without breaking them. I'm gonna use them after. Okay, here we go. I need a bit more space. Oh dear, this could get really messy. Right, what do you think? Okay, a bit nervous. Here we go. I'm 
And by the way, the way this works, I've got to throw one up, and while uh, the one with my throwing hand goes up and comes down, I'm going to throw the next one, all right? And that means I keep all the balls in the air, okay? All the eggs. Here we go then. All right. I'm nervous. Here we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How long can I keep going for? I do a trick, right? I'm gonna try and throw one over the top. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh no 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 no! Oh, what am I gonna do? I put it in the cup of tea. Hey! And I still use that tea, eggs. <laughs> well, it's no different from what I do on a weekly basis in warehouse TV in a birthday slot, is it? That'll be fine, won't it? I put it in an omelette. Yeah, yeah, all right, right, let's put, put so I did, I failed. <laughs> I did drop one. You were right. <coughs> oh dear, what a mess. We'll get it cleared up. <coughs> okay. Oh, why am I trying to put the lid on? <laughs> yeah, it's time for. Time for try this at home. Well, I'm gonna put it back in there. You just go up here. <laughs> this month on Warehouse TV has all been about determination. We're on week four. And determination is summed up like this, that it is worth it to keep going with what you started. It's worth it to finish the job. And keep going even when it gets tricky in the middle. Now the disciples, these early disciples have seen Jesus go to heaven and they've been filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. They have tongues of fire upon their heads and they've been able to pray in a whole new language. This was a witness to them that they've been given the power and the ability to do everything that Jesus wanted them to do. And that was to preach the gospel of the good news to everybody around the whole world. That's a pretty big task. Jesus said he wanted everybody to know the good news. He doesn't want anybody to go lost, but for everybody to be able to have the opportunity to choose to be a child of God through what Jesus had done. But done on the cross for us, we can all have a relationship with God through what Jesus had done. And that's the only way to come to God. And Jesus gave them the Big, big task to tell everybody. But they had the power and they had the ability. And they were doing a great job too. There were thousands and thousands of people that were being joined to the church all the time. And they were super busy too. But not only were they going right, uh, healing people and preaching, but they were also trying to look after people, making sure everybody had what they needed. But it was getting a bit busy. So they had a bit of a meeting because people started complaining, you know, that maybe people were missing out and people weren't getting all the food that they were uh, expecting to get. So the disciples got together and said, look, we need some help here. While we're, we're teaching, we need somebody to take care of the food and, 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 and looking after people because it's a really important thing to do. So they got some pretty amazing people on board. And one of those amazing people was a guy called Stephen. And Stephen was full of the Holy Spirit, full of faith. He was an amazing child of the man of God. Now they picked Stephen to take care of uh, these needs. It can seem like a, a, a small job, but it wasn't. They needed somebody who was full of God's spirit and ability. So they picked Stephen. And Stephen did a great job. And he was also doing lots of miracles. But then things started to get a bit tricky for him. Because there was a bit of opposition to the good news. And some people decided in their hearts they wanted to uh, make things hard for Stephen. So they started to tell some lies just spreading rumours about stuff that just wasn't true at all, that 
Simon, uh, that uh, Stephen had said. But what was incredible was that the Holy, he was filled with the Holy Spirit and he stayed calm when life wasn't being fair to him. So amazing. He not only had the power to do miracles, and, but he had the power to stay calm. It was so good. And Stephen was able to answer these difficult questions that he was being asked. And um, people couldn't really respond and answer because Simon, uh, Stephen was right in all that he was saying. The Bible says that his spirit was really strong and he couldn't be argued with. So they made up even worse stories and got other more powerful people involved. And um, he had to go to court about this. But do you know what? God was with Stephen. He was with him in this difficult time. He was with him looking after the food program. He was with him as he was, the Holy Spirit was with him and enabling him to answer questions. And now it was, the pressure was really rubbing up on him. But God was really close to Stephen and it started to show as well because Stephen was given an opportunity to answer all these accusations. And do you know what? The Holy Spirit lit up Stephen's face as he was talking. They were so close, God and Stephen, at that difficult time. The Holy Spirit was right there for him. It was amazing. And do you know what? Stephen was able to answer and tell them, keep telling them the truth about the gospel and how the, all of the prophets from Abraham to Joseph through Moses, that the Messiah was going to come. And he, <laughs> look, these, both these lots of pages are all about Stephen sticking up for God. And his faith was bright with God, <laughs> God's spirit. And everyone could see it. But what was really tricky, or not tricky, but what was not so good here, was what was about to happen next. Okay, Is that these guys that were against Stephen just didn't let go. And they were against the gospel going out. And they were against Stephen. And they got so upset with Stephen. And it was at that point that Stephen looked up and he saw a vision of Jesus next to God in heaven. Wow, oh, it was just the most amazing thing. You know, the Holy Spirit gave uh, Stephen just what he needed at this difficult time and for what was about to happen next. You know, the Holy Spirit gives us what we need for what happens next. And this was the encouragement that Stephen needed. And he said, look, can't you see? And this was too much for them. And they guys, these guys just snapped and they got a hold of Stephen. And they took him outside. And they started to throw stones. They started to throw stones at Stephen. They were so upset with him that the stones started flying at Stephen. You know, and that day, Stephen died of his injuries. And he went to be with his father in heaven. And you know, Stephen was looking after a food program. But he was right ready to be full of the Holy Spirit to do that. And now he's sticking up for God and died, died like Jesus did. Standing up for his faith and standing up for the truth of the gospel. Against those who were against it. Wow. And we are still talking about Stephen today.
to encourage us to stick with it and not give up. And I love this story that all the way through Stephen's life and through this time, the Holy Spirit was with him, giving him everything he needed along the way. It was Stephen there, it was the Holy Spirit that helped Stephen answer all the difficult questions and light up his face and seeing in that amazing vision of what it was going to be like for Stephen to go and be with the Father. Because well, that's the end of the story. We go and be with the Father. What an amazing promise. What does this mean for you guys? Well, it means that you can trust God and you can keep going because God gives you the Holy Spirit and everything you need for the next step. God knows what the end of the story is in your situation and he's leading you with the Holy Spirit to get you there. So if you're anxious about maybe going back to school or you find it difficult to stay calm or whatever your trial is and your difficulty, the Holy Spirit is there to be your help and you can trust him to be there. You just need to talk to God and cry out to God and he will be there to help you just like in Stephen's life. Should we pray? Father God, we thank you so much for this story of Stephen. And though, Lord, it is a sad story, what happened to him, what an encouragement of determination that you know, Stephen did not give up on you. It was you, Holy Spirit, that showed what you can do when you feel a person. When God is in us, we can do anything and face anything. Father, I just pray that no matter what we're going through right now and what is to come, you're with us every step of the way. And that's all we need. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. It's time for the Golden Hat No Way. All right. Today's Golden Hat No Way. True or false? Me and my friend, I don't know how old we were when we did this. 13? Probably younger. Okay, we used to fill up water bombs, go outside when it was dark, throw them up in the air where we couldn't see them, and stand still and wait to see if they fell on our heads. <laughs> True or false? No, no, it's false. No, 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 no. Uh, it's because we did it with eggs instead. Oh, sorry, Mum. No, not a good idea. But it's quite a funny story. <laughs> did they hit us? I can't remember. So probably not. We probably weren't a very didn't throw very straight. Right. Thanks for watching Warehouse TV. Have a great week. I'm praying for you. I really am. Bless you guys. See you later. <laughs>